Acids and Bases. This information is covered in your textbook, section 5.1. Acids and bases are very common. Many familiar compounds are acids and bases. Classification as acids or bases is based upon chemical composition. Acids and bases can be very dangerous. Both are very corrosive. Never try to identify an acid or base by taste or touch. What are acids and bases? When dissolved in solution, acids produce hydrogen ions. And bases produce hydroxide ions. The pH scale. The strength of acids and bases is measured on the pH scale. pH below 7 is acidic. pH above 7 is considered basic or alkaline. pH 7 is neutral. But what does this mean? Well, an acidic solution has a greater concentration of hydrogen ions than hydroxide ions. And a basic solution has a greater concentration of hydroxide ions than hydrogen ions. So acids have more hydrogen ions than hydroxide ions, and bases have more hydroxide ions than hydrogen ions. A neutral solution has an equal number of hydrogen ions and hydroxide ions. You can show it like this. H equals OH. On the pH scale, the smaller the number, the more acidic. The larger the number, the less acidic or more alkaline or basic a solution is. A one unit change represents a tenfold change in the degree of acidity or basicity or alkalinity. For example, a single unit drop from pH 7 to pH 6 increases acidity 10 times. A drop from pH 7 to pH 5 increases acidity a hundred times. And a drop from 7 to 4 increases pH a thousand times. Similarly, uh, a rise in pH by one unit increases the alkalinity by a factor of 10. A two unit rise in pH increases the alkalinity or basicity by a factor of 100. A three unit rise increases the alkalinity by a factor of a thousand, and so on. So to summarize, the lower the number, the more acidic. The higher the number, the more basic. pH indicators. The pH of acids and bases cannot be determined by sight. Instead, pH is measured by other chemicals called indicators. There are many different indicators. A few of the most common are shown here. And if you take a look at methyl orange, you'll see that its color changes with the pH and that the more acidic solutions will turn red when methyl orange is added. And if they're more alkaline, they'll turn yellow. This is a pretty large range for the basic or alkaline solutions. So other indicators might also be necessary. Um, one that's commonly used is litmus paper. With litmus paper, there are substances that will turn the paper red, and that would be an acid. Substances that turn the paper blue would be basic. So you can see a wide variety of different indicators and their uh, different color changes based on pH. Here's litmus paper, probably the most common indicator. Uh, it has just the two colors, blue for basic and red for acidic. So here is the starting paper. Here is the paper in an acidic solution. And here is the paper in a basic or alkaline solution. Many natural sources, such as beets and cabbage, are also indicators. 
universal indicator contains many indicators that turn different colors at different pH values. Acids. Acids are present in some common household products. If you know a compound's chemical formula, you may be able to identify it as an acid. Acids often behave like acids only when dissolved in water. Therefore, acids are often written with the subscript AQ, which means water or in water. The chemical formula of an acid usually starts with hydrogen, H. Acids with carbon usually have the C written first. Hydrochloric acid found in stomach acid and acetic acid, also known as vinegar, are two acids you may be familiar with. Naming acids. Generally, the chemical formula for an acid starts with H for hydrogen on the left-hand side of the formula. Acids can be named in several ways. Non-oxygen acids, or acids that don't contain oxygen, are named by the following pattern. The word hydro, to indicate the hydrogen ions, is written first, and then the root name of the element that is forming the acid, and the acid is written last. So, for example, if there was an acid being formed that included chlorine, uh, which is commonly known as HCl, its name would be hydro chloric acid. And you can see the rule being followed here with the word hydro, or the root hydro, and the ending ic, and of course the word acid to follow. Here are some examples of non-oxygen atoms. Naming oxygen atoms. This type of acid has oxygen in its formula. It's part of the anion. These acids follow the pattern below. Here are some examples of oxygen acids. Bases. You will find many uh, bases in common household products. Naming bases. Generally, the chemical formula for bases contains a hydroxide ion, or OH. What you should notice with all of them is the OH group. Some bases are much stronger than others. For example, magnesium hydroxide found in antacids is relatively weak compared to the sodium hydroxide found in drain cleaner. Sodium hydroxide is highly reactive with human skin and tissues and is called caustic or corrosive. Production of ions. Here is a lemon battery. Acids and bases conduct electricity because they contain freely moving ions. When separate solutions containing hydrogen ions and hydroxide ions are combined, they react forming water. The solutions neutralize each other. The acidic and basic properties are in balance. Acidic ground rock is a byproduct of mining and is stored in tailing ponds. These minerals sometimes release acids into the environment. One way that this problem is dealt with is to add a base to the pond to raise the pH to normal levels. Properties of acids and bases. You should be familiar with this list. Acids taste sour and they may burn your skin. They turn litmus paper red and phenylphthalein remains colorless in their presence. They react with metals by corroding them, and they do conduct electricity. The pH is less than 7, and they tend to form hydrogen ions. Bases, on the other hand, are not sour. They're bitter, and they may also burn skin, but they feel slippery, and this is why soap feels slippery. It contains a base. Litmus paper turns blue in the presence of bases, and phenylphthalein turns pink in strong basic solutions. Bases do not react with metals, but they are conductive, just as acids are. They can conduct electricity. They have a pH of more than 7, and they form hydroxide ions. Those are the basics of acids and bases. Next program, we talk about salts.